Hello guys, welcome to Kodamigo. In this video, we are going to talk all about JSON format. JSON is one of the most famous ways of transferring data from one system to the other. So make sure you stick around till the very end. Yeah. JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. It is a notation or a format which is very easy to work with and understand for both humans as well as for machines. JSON is extremely used in designing RESTful APIs and writing configurations files. Response of a RESTful API server, which is supposed to return data in JSON format, can be as complex as this. So we certainly need a way to be able to organize our data. Take a look at package.json tsconfig.json and .vscode.json configurations files. These all files are using JSON as format. JSON is lightweight and it goes well with JavaScript because it is a subset of JavaScript and native to browsers. All the browsers have a JSON parser built in so we do not need any additional library to be able to pass JSON data unlike XML. It is language independent, meaning that uh, it can be used with variety of other programming languages such as C++, C Sharp, Java, Python and many more. It is called JSON because in JavaScript we have object literals and uh, inside those objects we can embed other objects, we can have arrays and all other data types that we have in JavaScript. We can do the same thing with JSON. That's why it is known as JSON. And we will see that in practical in a minute. JSON was developed by Douglas Crookford. He is the author of JavaScript Good Parts book as well. Unlike JavaScript file, JSON is not executable. It's just a text file. Now let's move on and understand JSON practically. Now first, let's head over to json.org. Or there are two things that I would like to highlight on this page. They are saying that uh, if you look at the right hand side under the value section, they are saying the types of data types that JSON supports. So JSON supports object, array, string, number, boolean values like true and false and null. In JavaScript, we also have undefined because null and undefined are two special data types. Undefined is not listed here. And so we will see that in practical in a minute. Uh, second thing is that they are saying that objects and uh, arrays are two universal data types or data structure. They are available pretty much in every programming language. So in, in JavaScript world, we have objects and we have arrays. In uh, Python, the objects are known as dictionaries and in Java it's called hash table if I'm not wrong. Same is the case with arrays in C++, they are known as vector and list in Python. So for this demo, I have two files created. One of them is json-demo.json. So this is going to be an executable file. On the second tab, I have data.json. So let's start typing in something. So I'm going to create an array of objects. So let's create the very first object. Every object going to have some key and some value, but in JSON, remember that the key and the value both must be in double quotations. Like you can't use single quotations or you cannot even omit the double quotation, unlike JavaScript objects. Next, let me define a new property. Let's call this topics. And this topics is a list of all the topics you know, that we teach on our channel. So this is an array of a string. Next, let's define another property. Let's call this uh, total watch time. And I'm not sure what the watch time is. I have given it undefined value, but undefined is not a valid type in JSON. So we will see that uh, JSON parser is not able to parse it. So for the time being, let's turn it into a string. Next, let's create embedded objects. Let's call this videos. So this is referring to this blank objects. And inside this object, we have key. Key must be a string. It can't, can't be number. It must be in double quotation mark. We have name value pair just like before. We are not limited to using object array and a string. In fact, we can use Boolean. Uh, we can use number and we can use null as well. All these are valid data types. 
So now let's go ahead and uh, import the file. I'm using required method and I have this log statement here. Let me go ahead and run this program. So as you can see that we have this array of object being printed and uh, you see that uh, since it is a JavaScript object, it has passed everything. So this JSON data is, is nothing but JavaScript object. So there's no double quotation mark. You see that name topics and all these keys, they don't have any quotations marks and Kodamigo and all these values, string values are in single quotation mark. And uh, this object is basically is not a stringy file. So let's try accessing this first. Since this JSON data is representing an array, so let's access the first object. Inside that first object, we have topics. So let's see the value there. We can easily access the values. Now we are getting a list of topics. If we want to see the videos, then go ahead and type in videos. So see, the syntax is quite simple. We are able to access the arrays, arrays object. In this case, we are accessing the very first object and videos happens to be one of the properties. Okay, now this this videos object is now printed out. There are a few more things that I would like to talk about. This JSON data is a past version of this file over here. So this is nothing but JavaScript object. But at times we might have to convert JSON object into its equivalent string version because sometimes we might want to send data across the wire using Ajax API or something like that. So we have a json.stringy5 function just for that. And if I go ahead and uh, try to run the same program, you would see that everything is now a string. Uh, the name, the keys, topics, all these things are now in double quotations and uh, the undefined even now in double quotation. So the output of this statement is a string. We have a constant representing the stringified words of the JSON. We have a JSON.pass method that can be used to convert JSON raw data into equivalent JavaScript object. So now we have JSON.parts and uh, let me open this terminal. So now what we are seeing is just past version of this string. So yeah, this is all. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you are new, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel Kodamigo. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.